Hey there guys, it's Sam. I have a new video for us today. One of the things I noticed when I came back to tanks six or eight months ago is that there were tons of new premiums and that trend has continued. So I wanted to give us a little rundown today on what's going on with them. Should we be concerned or not? It seems as though every month Wargaming is adding new stuff. So without further ado, is it pub cancer? Wargaming seems to be really greedy right now to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but that is definitely my take. They're re-releasing tanks that were still available, e.g. T-34, for instance. They're making it black. We'll deal with that in a second. But it seems to be a greedy move. As players, we want this company to make money, but we would also like our pubs not to have problems. So is it a problem for the pubs? Wheezy111. One of the not quite so recent premiums, but still not the original set. The reason this tank is on the list, and you'll see one more, is that update 9.17 dropped, and the weeds have got pretty big buffs, so we're going to see it more in our pubs here. Got accuracy during movement for both hull and tank. Dispersion reduced on the shell from 0.46 to 0.44. Pretty nice buff there, actually. And then the engine got buffed, turret armor got buffed, and then aim time actually got 0.4 sliced off of it. So the Wheezy 111 definitely got some love here from Wargaming. Not a huge concern, though, but watch out for this tank frontally. T26E5. This is the Pershing's fat brother is how I look at this tank. Not a problem to find in pubs. What you need to be concerned about, though, is watching the terrain on where you're facing it. Avoid this tank in positions where you would avoid a Pershing, uh, a T32, that kind of thing. But when it comes to dealing with it frontally, no problem. I go lower plate on it, but depending on what your pen is, you can simply punish on the upper plate. So T2065, there's a lot of them in pubs right now, but don't worry too much about it. The Love, okay, this is another old tank that had got uh, pretty serious buffs today. So Front glacis went from 130 to 150. That's actually huge because it's on a good slope. So this front will probably be better than a King Tiger's right now. Uh, gun depression went from negative 8 to negative 10. Another good buff. Not as strong though because it's middle mounted turret. The depression doesn't do quite as much. And then engine horsepower got a 25% increase. So very nice. Up to 1,000 and increased thickness of pole armor. Wargaming doesn't tell us what that was, so shout out to them for that. M1A1 Revelation, or however you want to say that. Not a bad tank, also not very great. Got pretty good buffs today, though. Accuracy buff during movement as well. Shell got a little bit more accurate, 0.01. Uh, basically, what we're seeing in a lot of these 9.17 shifts is they want premiums to shoot better on the move, and they want them to be a little bit more accurate. Tank also got a pretty nice HP increase and went from diesel to gas, uh, which should let you run better consumables. Gun depression from negative 7 to negative 10. Again, more depression, more shooting on the move, and a little bit quicker. This tank will probably make a little bit of a return to pubs. pubs. The game aim time also went from 2.8 to 2.4, so that's quite good as well. I think the M4A1 is now a pretty solid tier 8 though it looks so derpy that I'm not sure why anyone would drive it. And the Mutts and its clone, the Mutts Black, Mutts Shadow, or Mutts Ultimate, kind of depends on what they're selling me on the premium store, is what they call it. The Mutts is a good tank, it's strong, the clone is nice as well. I do recommend this as a tier 8 premium, I own one myself, and it's quite good, so if you haven't played it, do so. Uh, Mutts didn't really get touched today though, which is probably a good thing. Uh, didn't need any buffs, didn't need any nerfs, but we'll continue to see this in pubs now that the clone is in. And then uh, lastly here is the T-34-3. Uh, this is a tank that definitely was bad for a while, was garbage tier, now isn't so bad actually. So I threw this in as a sleeper cell. Uh, folks bought it thinking it would be like a Type 59 when it released. It's not at all. What it is, though, is a very high alpha medium with a good turret. Got a little bit of a depression buff as well a while back, and I think a reload buff. So keep this in mind in your pubs. I don't expect it to be prevalent, but it's also going to be a good vehicle overall. 
that's our last slide here guys I hope you enjoyed it and I will look to continue releasing videos like this if you like the format you liked the GUI any of that let me know and uh, we'll move forward from there so take it easy and I hope you enjoy the pub cancer of the week tanks here and punish the rest thank you